Okay, I want to melt some glass today, so 24 volts out of the current source. A simple setup, just uh, thick cables. Got a heating coil here, about one, two, three turns. Some glass bottles, and just curious if these uh, things actually melt. Uh, control node, volts, amps, and then uh, a contactor to switch the secondary current for the transformator. And a uh, beer bottle as a victim, so we'll see how that's going to perform. Okay, energized device, energized transformer, and energize the current. 200 ampere, that's nice. I'll probably need to pulse the current. 180 ampere. Because I don't want to burn the heating element out. I'm drawing about 25. Oops, the bottle broke. That's quick. Deenergized device. Of course, always have a set of these, just in case. You never know what happens. Ah, what the heck? I'll see if it energizes a bit more. Well, it can melt out of there. Turn shorting out. Okay, turn that higher. Glass is getting. What's that noise? Interesting sounds. This show the primary currents. Hang on. Just show the primary currents at a nil loss to six ampere. We've got a twenty-five amp at about 220 volts high current is fun 190 ampere, I will burn the element out, see what happens Stabilized point, which is interesting. Just about to run out of memory, so uh, yeah, the glass does get soft. It's like syrup. Cool, I'll do another one later. Thanks for watching. De Energize device. Okay, Energize device. We organized the glass a bit. We're sitting at 170 ampere. Current from the mains is 20 ampere at about 220 volts.
nice and soft. Too long on de-energizing. You can see the glass glow still quite clearly. That's quite amazing. It stinks. Cool down and I'll uh, show the result. Yeah, the outgum is not too bad. That glass, this glass has melted itself into the lamp. Into the glass capsule, and this is a nice piece of blob of glass. But I need to build a little coca ball for it, and the rest of the glass is all more or less shattered, and yeah, it doesn't look too flash. And there's a little bit of stuff sitting in the heating, heating coal here. So, yeah. Experiment will be a quick uh, battery pop first off for the year. So, I've got a couple of Duracells here and a Toshiba, and uh, we'll see what happens.